And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another lab video. We're going to be playing this new lab star power. Looks like there's a music group here in the laboratory. So we're going to be playing uh, five games here. I guess there's five pre-made decks that showcases one of the new KDA cards, um, each one. So let's let's um, so we have our five decks here, and so we're going to be playing one game with each deck. So let's just kind of start with with our first one here. Give it all, and looks like this is a, a deck. Um, that has the new card, give it all in it. So eight mana, slow speed, raise all allies power and health to the highest power and health among allies, grant all allies allied keywords. So it looks like they have that here in a discard deck where we're gonna try to get like crowd favorite or maybe Trifarian shield breaker, one of these two in play, or if we're lucky, Captain Farron. <clears throat> and then we're also going wide with all this other stuff and then we play the give it all and then they're all like six fives and with Fearsome and Overwhelm and Quick Attack and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. So let's uh, give it a try. I know, right? You got the spells for the deck preview. The, the, yeah, like the deck box has the, the spells, the art of the spells. Which that was uh, something they had more often. All right, I'm just keeping the give it all because that's our deck. Right, we're just having fun with the labs. We should probably play the card that we have the lab. Wait, why do we have a wrench bot in play? We just get a wrench bot? That's weird. We just get a wrench bot every turn? That doesn't seem fair. Okay, they're going to play the card out of the way for the rest of the game. Allied buffs, except barrier, are permanent. Okay, yeah, each each deck has a passive power. All right, we get it every other turn. Gotcha. All right, so my plan is to be able to play the give it all next turn, which means we're not playing anything else this turn. We can play Mystic Shot, but we're not going to play anything else besides Mystic Shot because I need to have three, um, three extra mana for the give it all. So yeah, the shield bearer is a permanent 3-6. That's pretty good. That's a permanent 3-3. Three, three. Wait, so I guess they all can't block? I guess that's annoying. So they, they would all be 6-4 challengers that can't block. <clears throat> But there we go. Experiment ex uh, succeeded. All right, so we're gonna play our next deck. Our next deck is Go Get It. Um, whenever you recall an ally, you oh that's that that's the that's the just the power here. Whenever we recall an ally, but all right, so recall an ally to summon an exact ephemeral copy in its place. Okay, so that's what our deck's gonna be doing. Let's see what we got. It should, it's keyword. I guess can't block is into a keyword, right? Like it's just it's just something on the deck, I guess. All right, we'll keep this hand. With our go get it. This is a pretty cool looking board. The labs, they always have such such cool like boards and everything. Um, I guess we need to recall that. So they don't get their go hard. To 
do some draining. That does mean I don't get to play turn four, go get it. You know, if we go turn three, Zed. That was kind of my plan. I guess I'll pass here. Looks like they want to have removal available. I'm just going to be a little more patient. There we go. I think our deck does, like, if we recall something, it gets plus two, plus two. Something like that. Our champions are a lot more important than those things. They're a Ledros deck. Yeah, Ledros is scary. Go hard in there. I should have led with the Solitary Monk on turn three so that I should have waited till I had Zed with Go Get It and this recall where I had where I had it with both. Yeah, that was Bad play by me after being so patient and doing so good. Made a bad play there. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Alright, let's get farther into our deck. We got a bunch of those. These labs are just fun little things to play that you don't have to stress, that you can just kind of learn learn some cards that maybe you don't have in your collection. Especially here, they're showing off these it's brand new cards. Real good way to learn them. And you still get all, you know, you get good XP and everything for winning these. And they have the pre-made decks that you get to play. Stop swinging them big fists around, Vine. Stick around. I'll show ya. So is that what it's going to be that I... That all my, my things get plus two, plus two if I recall them? Is that right? Let none I think that's right. Meditation. Okay, yeah. Justice first hand! Eat this! So I wanted to do that one first because I I could envision them. I could envision them like trying to use a removal spell there, and then I was gonna play the go get it afterwards. Swift and silent as the breeze. Oh, it's only one time. Don't get to continually give them plus two plus two. All right, all right, all right. I guess we'll play a little fair. Alright, so that's their third go get it. But only Yeah, yeah, that's their third go get it. So I guess the next one is going to be the next card. Oh, okay, there we go. It tells you here the star powers up here in the top corner. I'm always up for a round or two. Soak it in. Yep, we're gonna need some more elusives. What you got for me, brains? Oh, just you wait. Tread lightly, strike hard. No, Spooky Karma is not really a meta deck right now. 
We did play against it one time today. I'm going to put that hatchling back. Never lost a fair game. We'll probably find another hatchling eventually. I just want to keep a one mana four three. <clears throat> we are leveling up this twisted fate pretty good. I don't need a plan. Five out of eight. I feel like there's a good chance they burn me out, so I'm just going to be blocking. Um, because I don't want to play another, um, Will of Ionia, because then we don't get to play any of these things. Yeah, that card's a lot better whenever they're both 3-4s. Um, no, I, w I wouldn't necessarily say that, Car that Spooky Karma counters Trundle Ramp decks. It can win against them, of course, but I, I don't think it just counters it. So Twist Fate's at six. Dang. All right. We get it. You're Ledros. All right, that's a lot of Ledros. I am the blade in the darkness. Alright, so I want to make sure that we played to go get it. Oh, yeah, with this being a champion, I can't even just cast... I was going to recast the champion over here on this thing. But I can't even do that. All right, well, that really didn't work. Only the worthy survive. Yeah, that really didn't work. Rogue's got a toll, and you're paying. Get friends in. All right, time to attack. You should have well enough alone. Try to get as much damage as we can in play. Put them down to nine. Or I'll have Will of Ionia bounce these what attackers the for some defense. I'll put them down to ten. I am the shadow. And hopefully winning the next turn. So <clears throat> they've played a ton of Mystic Shots. And drag damage cards. Hopefully they don't have any more. more equipment for the field. Our twist of faith at seven also. Big fists around by. Stick around. I'll show you. Trouble coming at ya. No, don't be a burn spell. I think that we're gonna win this. Don't be a burn spell. All right, double vile feast. At least it's not a burn spell that kills us, but that does give them, you know, the blockers for Zed also. And of course, my uh, Twisted Fate was at seven out of eight, so it was gonna level up. We're just drawing another card. Hey, what's up, Boo? It's your birthday. Dang, happy birthday, boo! Yo, let's get some hype in the chat. Built to spec. It is Boots' birthday. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. Wow, what a card. 
Ghost, give this elusive. That could be good. <laughs> you're you're not old, you're wise. There's always a way out. Oh, this is a play recall, not just summon recall. Right, I should have checked that. Because I was planning on recalling this and getting another card there. Um Okay, well I messed that up. Well, I messed that up. Could have maybe one off coral creatures if we got, if we would have gotten another one of those of Grant Elusive. If I would have just cast the Conspirator, or picked this up. And then, of course, the coral creatures would have been a 3 4 whenever it got recalled. Double trouble. Or if it was something that drew a card, then we would have drawn this Conspirator. GG's. Spearmint failed. Alright, here for the third deck, we're going to be trying Out of the Way now. So, out of the way, um, only one copy of it. For the rest of the game, allied buffs are permanent draw one. So you'll you'll start the game with this in our hand, because you know, they wanted to show it off, but just the one copy, because you don't really need an additional copy. So all of these uh, buffs that we'll have with this, uh, you know, including war chefs and, and everything, all the buffs will be permanent. So uh, we also have what's our Available power is whenever our allies attack, give them plus one, plus one this round. Okay, and that will be a permanent buff. Cool, cool. Yeah, that was a pretty good game. I definitely made some mistakes that last one. Um, that was a good game. Alright, we got a mirror match. Well, I like these war chefs. Like maybe I'm supposed to just be playing the Solari Soldier on turn one, even though it won't get the it won't be the three three. I probably should be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can just continue to pass. Because yeah, like their their plan is just pass. Because they're they're gonna do theirs also. Alright, so we'll trade one drops. So I wanted to play that first because of the plus one plus one. Alright, we're gonna have some buffs now. So four mana. And so many good options. Let's play Shivana. Shivana seems sweet. You cannot sway me. Right, yep, good block. Good block. Alright, so we can have Leona Stun. I think I want to just go with the Bright Seal Protector, though. Because Leona Stun would stun the 3 1, and then their, their challenger, you know, they could challenge my Shivana. I don't want them to be able to challenge Shivana. Yours. 
All right, so we'll challenge the Bright Seal Protector. Run them through. Uh -huh. I'll play War Chefs. They're making me miss two power war chefs, you know, like tacking with my 1-3 that, that gets the buff from the ability. So war chefs is like a 2-4 when it's attacking. The power of the immortal sun. So they can play their own Leona to stun. Rains down. And if they do that, I will kill cascade my my Leona to make it larger than the Shivana, so we still get to attack with the Shivana. Oh. I guess that's a thing. That's gonna kill my Shivana. And I, I can't keep Shivana alive, so m even if I pump it up with War Chefs. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, good. I was gonna say, so I was woke up to seven. Yeah, so we'll just have those trade. All right, Sun Guardian is terrifying. Eight, seven, Overwhelm. That thing down. Show them what we're made of. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. And I'm planning on playing my Sithria as well. Is real good. A long path to get here. So next turn we can go Leona and a protege. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. Sunlight lies. These arm muscles are ridiculous. You're covered. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Strike and grace, beauty in the play. All right, so if we attack with everything. So many buffs. Oh, the Sun Guardian? Yeah, Sun Guardian does look terrifying also. Uh. The good news is they're at two. That's the good news. No, do something first. I'm gonna say the bad news is I don't know how we deal two damage. That was risky, it would have just died to fail cascade. Silence. Cook it. 
I'm just gonna play this also because of course we want to play this as daybreak. Ooh, that card's good. So yeah, we can stun too. Another good draw for us with the back to back. And then it will um you know give this plus zero plus four. We still got that. Bask in the light's radiance. And I guess that happened twice. The power no, never mind, just the ones. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. All right, so that'll stun Leona. That's probably game. I need them to not have Leona. If they just had any unit, you know, they got to block across the board. Um, but yeah, now blocking across the board. No big deal. These games are quite back and forth. Tough. Yeah, what if they had old school hush that created the fleeting copies? I hope they didn't disconnect. Hope they continue to play. I wonder what those cards were in hand. Maybe there were like spells that would have saved them. But it looks like they just kind of disconnected. Yep. <laughs> RIP Wi Fi. Yeah, I guess if it was like double Ranger. They already played one Ranger's Resolve, but yeah, I guess if it's double Ranger's Resolve. Alright, deck number four is going to be Go Hard. So this one is, um, whenever we cast a second spell, eat in a round, draw a card. This one's going to be uh, built around this spell, Go Hard, where we're going to be trying to um, cast it. Once we do, we put two copies of it back into our deck. Once we've cast it three times, then we transform them all into Pack Your Bags, where it's five damage to all of their enemies and the enemy nexus, and then they all transform back into Go Hard. So it looks like we got Go Hard, we have counterfeit copies to put more back into our deck, and that's the thing, we're just going to be playing um, Control Deck, looking to find more and more copies of Go Hard. Let's see how it does with game number four here in the lab. Yeah, absolutely, Breeze, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm, I'll be making decks with, you know, and constructed with all of these cards, for sure, for sure. Um, Twist of Fate Zed. Let's give them all. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking the Patrol Wardens was going to be two... I don't know why I was thinking this was going to be two mana. I should have mulliganed Patrol Wardens. I guess I can just discard Patrol Wardens to draw a card with some treacher. We do in science. Yeah, so I have one mana for Go Hard. Keep the two man for Glimpse Beyond. Judge her away the Wardens. See, that's just good. At, um, good mulliganing, right? I kept the Patrol Wardens as just a card to discard. Makes sense. Quietly. We got an extra two copies of Go Hard back in the deck. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Twip uh uh They'll never see me coming. I 
think I should have won this matchup on the other side, this one that I lost. I think I messed up quite a bit in it. I've just... Yeah, I think I just didn't sequence very well. <sighs> should have won that one. Alright, so not a good turn for me here. Wish we could have, you know, Challenger Vi. Looking for a daring escape. After after the stream today, I have to go to gotta go to the store and get candy for trick-or-treaters. Yeah, are you rolling around? Alright, so I want to do this so it's more difficult to pick that card up. Or are you just being a dog? He's just like, what? Yeah, I'm being a dog. Yeah, you're being a dog. Stay safe. You want some pets? We gonna be dead. Punch it. Eat this. <laughs> I can get the stuff that no one eats, like candy corn. All right, we're gonna try to vengeance this thing. They don't get to pick it up, which picks up the blade scout, which resets that and everything like that. Let none disturb my meditation. Yeah. So I should be game. Never Don't think I have anything that saves me. Just act natural. I got you. So they should be picking up their 3 3. So then they can replay the 3 3 and make it a, so it can be a 5 5. I don't know what's in the stack, but I don't assume there's anything that saves us. Nope. I need no weapon. Experiments fail. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, and finally, deck number five, Feel the Rush. This is gonna be with uh, the new card that we played in two different constructed decks. Looks like we're going to be uh, ramping into this one, we got Weirding Stones in here for ramp. No Catalyst of Aeons, but it's Trundle and Lux. So that looks pretty cool. Ooh, faces of the old ones in here. That card's good. Oh, and then our, our available power is whenever you cast a spell that costs six or more, heal your Nexus three. Okay. We can heal our Nexus some. Ugh, here we go. All right, so we got our Feel the Rush. We have some ramp. Let's get rid of the back-to-back. -back. Got a blocker. Oh, we're facing the same matchup. I should have mulliganed the Troll Ravager then. Obviously, we don't need, probably don't really need that blocker. Yeah, I should have mulliganed it. Need more ramp. They got double ramp. But wait, they don't have a thing that costs eight or more, because they're not they're not getting any extra mana gem from this. So they they mulliganed away their field of rush. They had it in their opener and they're like, nah, we don't want it. Obviously now they have the ice pillar, so now they'll be ramping. But they don't have Field of Rush. At least, you know, they don't right now. They could draw it by the time they need to play it. Let the light guide you. Snow Sunder, huh? Good as bone shiver. 
I guess I should be attacking because I have sharp sight. Not really. So I still have uh, both sharp sight and single combat to help out if needed. Alright, good card. If I sharp sight that, let's see, it gets the plus two, plus two. So two, four. Yeah, so this will put the trundle down to three health, and then we can final spark the trundle. No more holding back. Cool. No sharp sight for them. I definitely wish I would have mulliganed that Troll Ravager. So I have seven mana I can spend this turn. We, this. we gotta keep three mana left. So seven mana we can spend this turn. We can do this to remove barrier and then Fight? I guess this isn't even a good fight because I killed my Lux. We'd just be trading Lux. But then I, if I don't feel the rush next turn. Right, I can spend my six mana. I can play Troll Ravager, sing have Troll Ravager single combat the Lux and Final Spark the Lux. But then I don't get Feel the Rush the next turn. Then they could have Feel the Rush the next turn. I guess we, we're supposed to have Field the Rush next turn. I should have single combat this ice pillar. The Lux vulnerable. Well, it's the most important thing. Couldn't play anything else because we need to play that card. But now it should be pretty good. Okay, big trundle. Yeah, we should be good. All right. Good. Took me a little bit to get there, but we got there. 
All right, so that's one game with each of the different five uh, lab decks. If you want to check the check these uh, decks out, of course, these are like the pre-made decks. You can just head on over to the lab, free to play, and uh, you can play them. You still get your your XP. You can uh, fit, you know use those to help do all your different quests and everything, like maybe play lab games, which is underneath here behind uh, behind me. Um, yeah, and they're just pre-made decks. There's not. Um, they seem pretty balanced. Overall, yeah, they definitely seem to pretty balanced, and you can pick out whatever your favorite is and um, go hard. All right, but anyway, that's it here for our labs with the uh, Star Power, with the music group in the laboratories. That's here for our Star Power labs. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.